Hello everybody, this is Dr. Nur Bhatra. I welcome you all to my new video. This video is about Newton Robson method by using calculator. I'll be obviously explaining uh, the main steps of Newton Robson method and uh, then I'll do uh, an example by using calculator as well. Okay, so uh, the main steps are First, you need to express a given equation in the form f of x is equal to 0, and we assume that it has a root near x0. That's the initial value uh, from where we would start these are the iterations of Newton Robson method. Right, so uh, this, this method is also known as method of tangent lines, and that is because of we draw tangent line at the initial value uh, at, 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 on the curve. And then a point where the tangent line crosses x axis, that would be the next iteration value. And then we proceed in a similar way. Okay, so we, have, we would have this formula if we apply uh, Taylor's series, uh, the Taylor expansion. Uh, so we can prove this this formula. Still using xn plus 1, that is equal to xn minus f of xn divided by f dash xn for n equal to 0, 1, 2, 3. You see, if you put n equal to 0, you will be having x1, which is x0 minus f of x0 divided by f dash x0, and so on. If you put x equal to 1, then you'll be using the value of x1 found in previous iteration to get the value of the next iteration. So uh, that, that's the way to do it. Okay, uh, let me explain the example by using calculator now. And I would explain that first uh, manually, and then we'll do it by using calculator as well. So let's suppose we want to solve this equation x sine x plus cos x is equal to zero. We will be calling it f of x. Okay. And uh, the, the iterations are, if you remember the formula, that's xn plus one equals xn minus f of x n divided by f dash x n for n equal to zero, one, two, three, and so on. In this case, f of x is x sine x plus cos x. So its derivative will be what? That will be simply, you know, product uh, from product rule of derivatives. That will be keeping sine x fixed and derivative of x is 1, and then keeping x and derivative of sine x cos x plus derivative of cos x minus sine x. These two will be cancelled, so we get x cos x. So you can use this, this function here, and we'll be using this function here in the numerator. Okay, and another way to do it is you can directly use this function in derivative form as well if you are using calculator to find these, these equations. So xn plus 1 will be. Uh, equal to xn minus the function value at x equal to xn, that is xn sine xn plus cos xn divided by derivative of the given function at x equal to xn for n equal to 0, 1, 2, and so on. And the initial value in this case, we are picking what? We are taking x0 is equal to pi. Now, if you put uh, x0 equal to pi here, uh, uh, you will be getting the first value x1. This is 0. This will be uh simply cos pi is minus one where if you find the derivative it was already found it's x cos x so we're simply taking pi cos pi the so cos pi is minus one so we get simply minus one divided by something like pi so and then x n minus pi minus something like that okay so the first value we would obtain that is uh, 2.8233 the next value would be 2.7986 i'll just do that by using calculator you would see the values over there and then x3 will be 2.7984 and you see that the root is already converged in fourth iteration up to 4 dp okay so now let me do this by using calculator and uh, we can we can extend the number of uh, significant figures uh, as well here so the first step is you need to convert the the the, the, the mode of calculator to be in uh, maths mode so it should go for one okay and uh, the, 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 the calculator should be in a radial mode as well. That we should keep in mind because we are solving, in this case, a transcendental equation. So if you solve transcendental equation, uh, the mode should be in radians. Okay, so what do we do first? Uh, we are just introducing uh, this, this formula directly. I'll be writing that as x that is equal to x again, and it's minus and then I'll be using this fraction in the numerator. I'll be using this, this function directly, which is x sine x. That is x. Then I'll simply press sine. 
and then I'll write x again, so it's x sine x, then you can close the bracket, minus, plus, sorry, cos x, so I'll just write cos, and then I'll use shift with cos x, and then you can close simply the, 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 back limit, the bracket, sorry. Okay, uh, you, can, you can simply use this function, right? Or you may write directly in this form as well, d by dx of the, the above function. Sometimes you may not be able to find this derivative that much easily. And if you don't want to, to, to waste time on finding derivatives, you could simply write that here. There is a, a shift and then you go for derivative. Okay, and then we would write this function again, which is x sine x. So the calculator would find uh, a derivative for you by itself. So that is sine x, and then we have plus cos x. Okay, so let's do that. Cos x, and then close the bracket, and we'll be finding that it x equal to x. So simple. Say this is my x. Once you are done that, okay. So just press calc. It would ask for the value of uh, x from you, and we have taken that is pi, so pi is here. So I may go with the shift, and then I give it well pi. Press equal, so you would get 2.8232767. This obviously, if you round it up, that become 2.8232 to the same value here. Next time, we simply press equal, and do it again. You'll be getting next value that is 2.7986. You see that 2.7986, same value. If you press it again, obviously it asks for the value. Don't change the value of x, it will be taking the, the new value itself. And then you press equal to get the next value of 2.79838 and so on. So see that the value is repeating. Correct up to 4 dp. If you press it again, so you see that. Uh, is time out okay so you see okay oh that, that's that's the limitation of calculator as well you can you may face some limitations uh, if we do that again you see that we were already 2.7984 if we press it it says time out time okay so that's the memory problem then you can be time out from it so you can you see that we have found this value up to uh, for both iteration. I'm not exactly sure why it's uh, giving me the message timeout, time, but it's okay. So I hope that's the way you may, you may simply use this function as well. If the function is simple, you can find its derivative and then you put the value here, it doesn't matter. So I presume you understood it and. Uh, so that's already explained you see that so thank you very much and thanks for watching and let's uh, wait wait for the next video see you in next video then thank you very much